Hi all and welcome. In this video, I just want to go over setting up your DUSX Human Revolution with ENB and SuiteFX. Now I'm using the Director's Cut, although this will work with the Standard Edition or the Director's Cut. Now the first thing that you'll want to do is actually go to the mod page. I will leave a link under the video here in order to get to the mod and the files that you'll need in order to set up your game. So once you've actually gotten here, you just want to click the download now and download those files. So once you've downloaded the files, you just want to open that up and then you can minimize the browser here. Now before I minimize it, I'll just quickly go over the notes here. Now basically the notes show you the general settings that I'm using as well as some comparative picks and I have a small gameplay video here of just the beginning of the game. I will actually have another gameplay video which will be available here on the page once I get that all set. So basically once you've downloaded and opened that file you just want to minimize the browser and then you want to open your game folder. Now you'll find your Steam games in C program file Steam Steam Apps Common and under the common folder you'll find all your game folders listed and you just want to look for that DUSAX human revolution and as I said if you're using director's cut it will just say director's cut otherwise it should say DUSAX human resolution and you just want to open that up once you've done that you just need to drag and drop these files into the game folder and if you're a Windows 10 user you need to rename the DXGI DLL to D3D11. And that's basically it. At this point you can start the game and test it out, make sure that everything's working. Once you're in game you just have to hit the pause break in order to enable and disable the effects. You will want to adjust your brightness levels as the blacks tend to come out a lot darker once you actually render the game in the higher resolution and higher definitions and just raising your light level in the game will actually help to bring those levels back up. Now once you've started the game and made sure that it's running properly you can exit the game and just close the game folder here as you're all done Although I'm just going to go over a few troubleshooting tips just in case you do have an issue when starting the game. Initially when you start the game, leave the game folder open like this just in case you do have to do some troubleshooting. And what I'll do is I'll just close this download because we no longer need that. Now if you started the game and the game's running fine, the pause break is working, then you have nothing to worry about. When you exit the game, just close that game folder. If you start the game and you get some graphical issues, the game doesn't start, or it does start, but the picture looks off or and such, then you want to exit the game and go back to the game folder here, and you want to go to the Alt D3D9 folder here. And what you're going to do is select one of the four. Each one contains an alternate D3D9 DLL. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to open that and just copy the one DLL that you've chosen. And then go back to the main game folder here and just paste it over top of the existing one. Start your game again and make sure that it's running correctly. If you still have an issue, then just exit the game and again go back to that Alt D3D9 folder and switch between one of the other alternatives until you find the one that works with your card. Now you can also use the newest generic EMB with this, although you do have to make a slight alteration to the settings files and the notes for that are actually found on the mod for doing that. So basically you're all set at this point. If everything's running fine, then you're all good to go. Now one extra thing that I normally do with my games 
and that's adding them to clean mem if you're not familiar with clean mem please check my profile for the clean mem setup video and adding your various game exes to clean mem in order to set it up and get everything in order there and that will actually help your games perform a lot better by isolating processes as your games are running so if you have a bit older system or a lower end system then you may want to actually add the clean mem because it will help quite a bit so i'll just go over adding this game to the clean mem and basically what you want to do is just select the main game exe and just copy that name and i'm just going to go down here and right click on my clean mem monitor and start the clean mem settings wizard and you just want to go through to your only list here click the plus and just paste that game exe in there and say ok and now that's added into the list there and just say next and finish and you're all set so basically I've gone over installing the files the locations making the change for Windows 10 as well as adding the clean mem and making the alterations between the D3 D9 DLLs in order to make sure everything's working as best as it can now if there are any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them as best as I can please leave a like and subscribe if you found this helpful and you want to see more videos for my other mods for setting up your other games thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you again.